Jasmine Aran is here live for the hospitality and tourism panel. Here with Sean Larino, Revenue Manager of the Rancho Laguna Beach. Sean, tell me about your job. So uh, basically as a revenue manager, we're, we're kind of in a, uh, a different kind of strategy right now. We're actually renovating our resort. Uh, it was open. Uh, I've been working there for about eight years, and after that we've uh, we officially shut down the hotel back in November of uh, 2013, and so we're putting in a brand new 97 guest room hotel, a three meal restaurant, a spa, you know, and a resort golf course, uh, some really cool event center. So right now, it's just kind of rebranding right now, just kind of getting the new name out on the website and connecting with guests, and then also setting up our property management system, our central reservation system. So right now, it's kind of gearing up for when we reopen in September. Uh, we're working on rates and packaging right now. So we're just kind of working our way from the ground up. And then once we get rolling, you know, we'll be working with reservations and rates and just creating good value for the guest. Thank you. Here with Marcus Collins, the manager of the Ayers Hotel in Anaheim. Marcus, can you tell me what is something that's essential to have working in the hotel industry? Well, I would say that uh, the most important thing when you go in and you approach a position there is the professionalism. Um, especially if you're going to be out front, you've got to be able to look your customers in the eye, you've got to be able to speak clearly, you've got to remove the likes and the you knows and the uh -huh and the all the stuff that, that uh, really uh, will diminish your, uh, your presentation and, and just show really professional appearance. Here with Erica Ha, the promotions coordinator for the OC Fair. Erica Ha, thank you for being here. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. It's good to be back. It's, we're so glad to have you here. <laughs> alumni, it's always good to have alumni. You know, you were in ETC. How did that help you find a job in the real world? Um, being in ETC definitely helps me. You know, when you go on job interviews and people ask, you know, what sets you apart from basically everyone else, and when you say that, during your time in school, you got involved and you made an effort to go out there and make connections and to learn more. Um, it, it gives you an extra boost. Um, and definitely being an ETC, making those connections, um, it's helped me and it's given me opportunities that I wouldn't have had without it. Here is Paul Gauci, the Venue Relations Manager of Gold Star Events. Paul, getting straight out of college, what was it like to get a job with Gold Star Events? How did you get there? Sure. Um start with it wasn't easy. It took about a year um, after college to really find what I was looking for. Went on a ton of interviews, um, put myself out there. I walked into random places, tried to trying to get just informational interviews, things like that, just to get my name out there. And I actually came across a listing from a professor that I'm, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with, um, Professor Puente. He um, posts a lot of postings online. Um, so I applied. And before I knew it, I had uh, my first phone interview. And really from there, it was they were really interested on the experience that I actually had with ETC um, versus really my degree. My degree gives me, I would say, credibility. And from there, it was everything I did with ETC was what they were really interested in. Okay, name and year. Elise Hensley, and I'm a senior. What did you get out of the panel today? Um, today I learned that it's all about networking and who you know. Um, more than, I guess, like, it's more about who you know than what you know kind of thing. So I just took away that do as many internships as possible, network as much as you can, and um, look at different jobs that you want to get into. So. ETC member here, Amanda Larson. Amanda Larson, what did you learn from this panel today? Let's see, I um, just networked with the professionals after for the Hospitality and Tourism Club, and they were basically talking about their road to success here and how they were ETC members originally and how much the club had done for them. Um, several of them, there was a hotel management person, there was somebody on here who worked for the Orange County Fair, and they were talking about like the positive and negative aspects of working in the industry and they were more than happy to network with me afterwards so it was interesting to learn everything that they had done. 
Thank you for watching our hospitality and tourism panel. A special thanks to ASI and Store for sponsoring us, and also Diabolo for providing us with eccentric beverages. Until next time, this is ETC Live.